My dearest child, I come to you today with a heavy heart, for I must reveal a truth that has been long concealed. It is a truth about your beloved mother, a woman of unwavering strength and profound love for you. Yet, even the mightiest of souls can bear burdens too great for one heart alone. Your mother has been harboring a secret, a weight that has been her constant companion through the years. This secret has been a source of anguish and torment, a cross she has borne in solitude, fearing the consequences of its revelation. But now, the time has come for the truth to be laid bare, for in truth lies the path to healing and growth. My child, your mother's secret is rooted in a past that has left indelible marks upon her soul. It is a story of heartbreak, betrayal, and the crushing weight of societal expectations. In her youth, she found herself ensnared in a web of circumstances beyond her control, forced to make choices that would forever alter the course of her life. Beneath the radiant smile she wore for you, a tempest raged within her, a battle between the desire to protect you from the harsh realities of this world and the gnawing guilt that threatened to consume her. She feared that the revelation of her secret would tarnish the image you held of her, that it would cast a shadow upon the love you shared. Yet, in her silence, she suffered a thousand agonies, each day a testament to the strength of her resolve and the depth of her love for you. She shouldered this burden alone, convincing herself that it was the only way to shield you from harm. My child, your mother's secret is not a stain upon her character, but a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It is a story of survival, of the indomitable will to persevere in the face of adversity. Though the path she walked was shrouded in darkness, she emerged as a beacon of hope, a living embodiment of the transformative power of love. In her secret, you will find not a reason to condemn, but a wellspring of understanding and compassion. For within the depths of her struggle lies a profound truth that even in our darkest moments, the light of love can guide us home. My child, I implore you to approach this revelation with an open heart and a mind unclouded by judgment. Embrace your mother's truth as you would embrace her, with unconditional love and acceptance. For in doing so, you will not only free her from the shackles of her secret, but also liberate yourselves from the chains of misunderstanding that have bound you both. Together, you will walk a path of healing, hand in hand, your bond strengthened by the shared weight of this truth. And in that journey, you will discover a love that transcends secrets, a love that knows no bounds, a love that is eternal and everlasting. My child, your mother's secret is but a chapter in the grand narrative of your lives, a chapter that has been written in the ink of pain and resilience. But fear not, for the pages that follow will be penned in the radiant hues of forgiveness, understanding, and the unbreakable bond that binds you both. Embrace this truth, my child, and let it be the catalyst for a deeper connection a more profound appreciation for the woman who gave you life and loved you with a ferocity that defies mortal comprehension. In this moment, I am with you, my love enveloping you both, guiding you towards the light that awaits at the end of this arduous journey. Have faith, my child, for in the midst of this revelation, you will find the strength to forgive, the courage to understand, and the wisdom to love without condition. Your mother's secret may have been a heavy burden, but in unveiling it, you will discover a freedom that transcends the confines of silence. Together, you will emerge from the shadows, reborn into a world where truth and love reign supreme. So, take heart, my beloved child, and embrace this truth with open arms, for in doing so, you will not only honor the sacrifices of your mother, but also pave the way for a future resplendent with the radiance of understanding and the warmth of unconditional love. May this revelation be the beginning of a new chapter, one written in the language of healing and forgiveness, 
a testament to the inextinguishable flame of love that burns within you both. I am with you, my child, always and forever, guiding you through the valleys of uncertainty and leading you towards the mountaintops of enlightenment. Embrace this truth and let it be the foundation upon which you build a love that knows no bounds, a love that transcends the limitations of mortal existence, a love that echoes through the ages, eternal and everlasting. Your loving Father, God precious child, your super thanks serves as a beacon, igniting our divine quest. With a simple tap, stand with us in spreading God's timeless message of truth and enlightenment. In return, welcome the endless blessings cascading from the depths of His unfailing love. My dear child, Receive my boundless love and open your heart and soul to this pure affection that surrounds you with peace and serenity. It is a divine strength that heals all your wounds, pains, and ailments. Let your emotions find their calm and know that the tranquility you seek can only be found here beside me. When you come to me with your desires to receive, to feel, to grow, and to live, it is in my presence that you will discover them. Breathe in deeply, inhale the sweet aroma of my Holy Spirit, and let time pass as you immerse yourself in it. Accept even more of the gifts and love I long to give you. This beautiful love is yours, and I urge you never to reject it. Do not labor to earn the love of those who may claim to cherish you, but disappoint and mistreat you. Do not strive to please those who have not yet learned the true meaning of love. Know this, I cherish you, and my love for you is eternal. My covenant with you will endure forever. My plans are unwavering, and my purposes are true. Embracing my love brings about a transformation, a new life filled with complete happiness and unwavering affection, free from disappointments. My love is not just good, it is marvelous, forgiving, and above all, it belongs to you. Embrace it. I willingly gave my life on a cross and triumphed over death on the third day, so that you too can rise and experience life in abundance. You may not fully grasp it now, but I am capable of far more than you can desire or comprehend. I will touch your heart, and I will reveal it to you. You will feel a powerful conviction that will empower you to make life-changing decisions. The time has come to act and appreciate the supernatural power that fills your life. No one should underestimate you, whether it's because of your age or your past. Those who doubt you will be astonished by the fruits you bear, for they will come to realize that my spirit has been at work within you. This beautiful and holy love is available to all. The love offered by the world is limited, often conditional, and it demands something in return. Ultimately, it can lead to betrayal, falsehood, pain, and loneliness. I do not want you to endure such suffering. Instead, I am here to heal your wounds in my loving embrace. Release all your despair, it will be forgotten. I love you deeply, and I long to hear you say that you love me too. Your time is approaching, and no closed door can thwart the blessings I have destined for you. Speak it aloud, affirm your thoughts, and write it down. Declare your belief in me and your willingness to accept this word of comfort and heavenly encouragement. If one door has closed, do not despair, for another magnificent door is about to open, bringing something even better. Understand that a spiritual battle rages in the heavenly realms for your life and your faith. Many adversaries, both seen and unseen, seek to hinder your growth, attacking you from the outside and inflicting wounds from within, even if they remain hidden. I will place individuals with divine knowledge on your path to assist you in overcoming these challenges. Humble yourself and accept their guidance. Dedicate time to me in prayer, and I will reveal even more to you. You will emerge victorious in this battle. All the obstacles you face will crumble before you. While I could deliver you instantly, I want you to recognize the value of your faith, your talents, and your gifts. 
Victory is not meant to be won alone. Should you cast aside my word and renounce your faith, the enemy will seek to ensnare you and drag you into the mire of despair. However, I see great potential in you. You will achieve great things. Dear beloved, would you like to lend a helping hand and support our mission? Click below to buy me a coffee and be an integral part of spreading God's message through our YouTube channel. Your contribution means the world to us. Thank you kindly for your support. Bless many, and your family will flourish in wisdom and humility, prospering in all aspects of life. But we must walk this journey together. Extend your hand to me, for you are prepared to rise to a spiritual level where destinies are shaped and lives are transformed. This day holds many wonderful and beautiful things in store for you, even as you listen. The foundations for your future and that of your family are being firmly laid beyond your generation. Let them come to know and serve me, each endowed with unique gifts, talents, professions, and a hunger for knowledge and preparation. Dare to dream beyond the boundaries of your current reality, beyond what you see, imagine, or even believe today. You and your family are not destined to live in spiritual poverty, emotional confusion, or the burden of debt. Embrace my words and learn to dream. I will strengthen your faith and enable you to receive and manage the blessings that are on the horizon. Despair has no place in your life. I am here to assist you even before you utter a word, for my ear is always attentive to your cries. Know that I love you deeply and long to lift you from the challenges and problems that weigh upon you. You come to me today because you trust that I will extend my hand to help you rise, to heal your wounds, to help you forget the past, and to restore the blessings that were once yours. Understand that I cherish and admire you. Your resilience in the face of adversity brings me great joy. Continue to believe and trust that I, your faithful and omnipotent God, am by your side. Do not be troubled by those who may mock you or attempt to steal your joy. They are not your true friends. They are individuals who have forsaken faith and envy the path set before you. They recognize that you are loved and blessed, and this reality they cannot accept. Do not waste your energy trying to convince them, for I will remove from your path all who seek to harm you and will bring into your life those who genuinely love you. Release your despair and do not allow worry to take root in your mind or let thoughts that steal your peace invade your soul. Clothe your mind with the helmet of faith to guard against negativity. Let your heart be shielded by the breastplate of righteousness and take up the sword of my holy word to face the battles that lie ahead. Prepare yourself for spiritual warfare in which you shall always emerge victorious, never defeated. Even if you stumble and fall, know that I will lift you up once more. Accept this challenge and do not allow anxiety to enslave your future. Equip yourself to fight wholeheartedly against discouragement and fear. Affirm your belief in me and your readiness to succeed. Today, you and I shall converse. I desire to free you from all anxiety, to relieve the burdens that weigh heavily on your soul each day. I want your life to undergo a transformation, for your spirit to be rejuvenated, and for happiness to become more than a distant memory. I have come to speak with you because I wish to see your faith continue to grow. Understand that what may seem difficult and impossible to you is entirely within my capabilities. You cannot change the past. It is essential to accept it as it is. Your life is in the here and now, and it is only in this present moment that you can find happiness. Do not yield to those who sought to distance you from me, poisoning your mind with falsehoods and lies, opposing your success, and convincing you of your worthlessness. Forgive those who have caused you harm and release the weight of grudges. Your true battle is not against flesh and blood. Do not respond to anyone with rudeness or violence. Your real struggle takes place in the realm of the supernatural, where spiritual battles are a stark reality. In that spiritual realm, the adversary seeks to steal your soul. 
laying traps to ensnare you when you are most vulnerable. It is my will that you obey me, grow stronger in your faith, and confront evil. Find solace in our secret refuge. Clothe yourself in my word and let it be your shield. Pray in silence. Draw strength from me. And put on the full armor I provide to face whatever challenges may arise. Cloak your thoughts in the assurance of my presence. For I will be your defender against all who seek to rob you of your peace and joy. Maintain your steadfastness, persevering in both good times and bad. My child, click on the join button to join us as the cherished member of our community. Today, I unveil a powerful secret to you. You are my victorious warrior, deserving of my boundless love. Continue to move forward in faith, and I will work wondrous things in your life and within your family. I know you comprehend this truth now. Release your worries, for the troubles that plague you shall pass, and your anguish will dissipate. Things will change, and it is my desire that you place your thoughts and concerns in my hands. Worry serves no purpose and only clouds your mind, hindering your ability to stand firm. Worry begets more fear, and I implore you to surrender your concerns to me. Come to me with your worries and allow me to provide solace. Share with me the source of your fears. Release the emotions that scratch at your soul and cause you inner turmoil. Your spirit yearns for me, and your heart longs for my presence. This yearning lies at the core of the loneliness that burdens your soul. Immerse yourself in me, envelop yourself in my word, bask in my presence, and find peace. The words I share with you bring healing and freedom to your life. You need not endure the shackles of fear any longer. For you have a life ahead of you, loved ones who cherish you, and those who depend on your strength. Fight for them, fight for yourself, and always remember me. Recall the commitment you made when you beseeched me for the strength to carry on, and I granted it to you. I am aware that formidable challenges have entered your life, seeming insurmountable. Yet, this is the moment to demonstrate that I am with you at all times, not just during days of joy and happiness. My power shines most brightly in your moments of weakness. Do not forsake the progress you have already achieved, nor squander the numerous blessings I have bestowed upon you. Even when those you love have caused you pain, do not cast them aside. Extend to them another chance, for I will grant you the patience and wisdom to discern the extent of your efforts. Be prudent. Bear insults and attacks with patience, but retain your dignity and hold your head high. I do not wish harm upon those who have hurt you, for I will personally confront them, and they shall have the opportunity to repent. Trust in the faith you feel today, and if there are days when you do not feel that faith, do not despair. Even when you approach me feeling empty, when sadness returns, and the ghosts of the past threaten to cloud your emotions, come into my presence just as you are. I shall heal you, I shall set you free, and I shall break the chains that bind you. Come to me in the morning, at noon, or whenever you require my presence. Approach me with the divine love that surrounds you, and I shall move mountains on your behalf. Approach with faith, pray with unwavering conviction and assurance, and walk forward with strength in your heart. There is no place for discouragement or sadness any longer. I understand the heavy burden that family matters can place on your heart and mind. There are moments in life when you long for solitude, a time to reflect and find solace. But in those quiet moments, I want you to know that you are not alone. My comforting embrace, the Holy Spirit, is there with you, bringing peace to your soul. You were not created to be overwhelmed by tears, sorrow, or the weight of your mistakes and disappointments. I want you to remember that even in your moments of suffering and tears, my love for you remains unwavering. There may be times when you feel like you can't go on when the shadows of despair seem too daunting. But I am here to lift you up, to remind you that you are not meant to live defeated. Your heart is a beautiful and pure creation, 
and I want it to shine brightly, not hidden in darkness. Step into the light. Let your face radiate with joy and allow others to witness your smile. Let them rejoice in my name. For you are my beloved child, a reflection of my boundless love. I have done so much for you, and I will continue to perform miracles beyond imagination so you can truly grasp the depth of your significance to me. I've been telling you time and time again that there is no room for despair or turning back. You are like a powerful force that cuts through the challenges and paves the way to the land of blessings I have prepared just for you. I will open your spiritual understanding so that you can see that you are a parent of generations, a source of blessings for those who follow you. Don't be disheartened by the lack of recognition today or by the trials you face, no matter how painful they may be. Never overlook the gifts and blessings I bestow upon you. Everything has a purpose. I have complete control over everything. But remember, your attitude matters. Your faith and the way you believe will elevate you to higher levels. When you feel weak, turn to my word for strength. Kneel in prayer when you feel you can't go on and gaze up at the sky. I am there, dwelling in your heart. My blessings are not distant. They are right before you. Your salvation is here, and the mountains of your problems will crumble. Your adversaries will be defeated. Now I ask you, do you believe in me? Do you love me? As soon as I hear your response, I will work a great miracle within you. My love for you knows no bounds, and I will continue to remind you of it day and night, because it flows from the depths of my heart. When I see your eyes open to the light of a new day, when I witness your gratitude and the love in your heart, it brings me great joy. Starting today, when you awaken, let these words born from my inspiration fill your mind. Doubt will fade, hope will be rekindled, darkness will recede, and you will leave behind sorrow and despair. Now is the time to stand strong, to live fully, and to embrace the new path that awaits you. Each day, wake up with joy, wearing the armor of faith and holding the sword of my word in your hands. Your confidence in my miraculous power will lead to healing and liberation for your captive soul. I will remove the burden of guilt and remorse from your shoulders. No one can condemn you. Believe this with all your heart. No human judge can pass judgment upon you, and no deceitful tongue can harm you. The pointing fingers of accusation will be consumed by the fire of my divine justice. Though many enemies rise against you, cunning and malicious, I will protect you like an unyielding fortress. I love you. I have granted you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, and nothing and no one can harm you. Many in the world cry out to me, but sometimes they feel distant from my presence. What I seek from you is simple. I desire your sincere faith, as small as a seed planted in your heart. Watch it grow into a mighty tree, for in your belief, you will find abundant blessings. You are living in a pivotal and unique time. Listen to the winds. Heed the sound of the trumpets. My return is drawing near. Surrender your entire being to me, for it is not a difficult task. You can do it. Give me your heart even when you are weary and breathless. In those moments, I will be there, assuring you of my boundless love. Here in my embrace, I will comfort you, restoring all that has been unjustly taken from you, multiplying your blessings manifold. Stand firm. Do not accept defeat. Life has dealt you blows. People have betrayed you, and they may wish to see you fall. But I, your almighty God, am by your side and will never forsake you. Through my grace, love, and the strength I infuse into your heart, you will rise and stand as a courageous warrior. Those who seek to trouble you, those who aim to humiliate you, those who believe they will conquer you will be astonished. They will witness, with eyes wide open, the wondrous deeds I will accomplish through you. I will lead you from the desert into fertile lands where miracles abound. You have endured many hardships, 
but the day of your prosperity has arrived. I will heal your ailments, release you from captivity, and bestow upon you glorious freedom. Treasure hope as a precious gem, and hold fast to my word, for it is your most valuable possession. Do not allow the murmur of envy to divert your focus. Disregard those who speak idle words of jealousy when they witness the abundant blessings I have showered upon you. I will provide you with meaningful work, sustenance, abundant health, protection from evil, faithful friends, harmony within your family, inspiring dreams, and unending desires to live, to conquer, to persevere. Remember, your age is inconsequential. Do not underestimate yourself because of it. Do not use your years as an excuse. I will work mighty wonders through you because I love you. And if it is my desire to do so, nothing and no one can thwart my plans. You have my unwavering support, love to, and faithfulness. I seek your heart and your loyalty. Prepare yourself for a life filled with supernatural experiences. My love for you is eternal. I am filled with joy to see you seeking solace and nourishment in my words. This warms my heart, and I see the changes already taking place within you. If anything still troubles you, remember I am here. At times, the burdens of life can feel overwhelming, causing your thoughts to run wild. But always remember that each morning you can come to me in prayer, mend your situation, and face life with happiness, free from the heavy burdens you no longer need to carry. Focus on what truly matters, my child. You do not have time to worry about things that will never come to pass, especially when I am watching over you. So fear not, you lack nothing. Now put your faith into action to lift your spirits. Come, kneel down, whether in your chair, on your bed, or anywhere you may be. Close your eyes and, with a heart full of gratitude, express your thanks for your family, your job, your health. Sometimes you do not even need to ask, but I delight in it when you do. With unwavering confidence, your prayers reach my ears and my angels are ready to respond. They were created to obey and serve and they stand ready to fulfill your needs. Remember, you are my beloved child, and I fill your life with grace and mercy. Do not hesitate to ask, for there is no need to fear. Let me remind you once more so you never feel guilty when you come to me in need. If you ever feel that you no longer need me, it is because your faith has waned and pride has clouded your life. So ask, and I will provide you with the finest of blessings, sweeter than honey from the rock. I will open the windows of heaven and pour out holy blessings upon you until they overflow. Use your faith, for I have the power to move mountains of sorrow, obliterate obstacles of evil, and shatter the chains of sin, vice, and destructive habits. Ask for all that is good, kind, sweet, and uplifting, even when it seems impossible. If it is for your eternal growth and earthly well-being, Ask me, in my perfect timing, filled with love, I will answer your prayers. Know that your problems have solutions, for you have entrusted your situation into my hands, and I will care for it. I have never failed you in the past, and I will not fail you today. So do not be afraid. You are never alone in your battles, facing adversity, abandoned, or in solitude. Stand firm in your faith. There will be times when you may not feel my presence, but have faith in my promises. Remember that I have promised to be with you day and night. I do this not because you are flawless, but because I love you deeply. Believe this truth and do not flee when challenges arise. If you stand steadfast, your enemies will crumble before you and the threats seeking to discourage you will fade away. None of them can overpower you. Be patient, walk with faith, and persist. Your life and your family are secure in the best possible place 
in my loving and protecting hands. I care for you, provide for you, and bring healing to your life. Be wise, be prudent, and cherish the blessings of health, peace, and love that surround you. Give me your heart, my beloved child, and fix your gaze upon the path I have laid out for you. Do not turn away or look back. Instead, look ahead. You will see me, arms open wide, waiting for you. I say this with all sincerity. I emphasize it once more. And I repeat it, I love you. You once asked me, Lord, if you truly love me, show me. Here I am, speaking to your spirit once more, caressing your soul, healing the wounds of your past, planting new dreams and joys within you for the days to come. I remind you of the sacred promises in my word that you can hold on to even when everything seems to crumble. There will be situations that threaten to discourage you, but my promises will provide you with reasons to fight, to overcome, to rejoice. They will fill you with courage, energy, and the certainty that I am always by your side. You can rely on me in both good times and bad. Have faith in me. I love you profoundly, and I want you to remember this always. Amen. My beloved child, I want you to feel the warmth of my presence as you read these words. Know that I am here with you right now, ready to speak to your heart. Cast aside your worries, for in this moment, there is no room for anxiety in your soul. You have come to me weary and seeking solace, and I am here to pour my love and peace upon you. Be brave, dear one. Do not let fear take hold. I assure you, your prayers are being heard, and the trials that have burdened you will soon fade away. Do not lose faith, for you are not abandoned, and my promises will be fulfilled. Place your trust in me, for I am by your side in this battle. Even when you feel exhausted and contemplate surrender, remember that it is precisely in these moments that you must stand strong. The obstacles in your path will crumble soon, but only if you remain steadfast. Do not yield to failure, for the blessings that await you are hidden behind every setback. Fight on, have faith, persevere, and keep moving forward without hesitation. I speak these words to you out of love, for I want you to grasp the beautiful future that awaits. Marvelous things and new blessings are on the horizon, and you will rise to a holy and supernatural spiritual level, setting an example for your family. Many read my words and witness great miracles, yet doubt often creeps into their hearts. They may feel unworthy or believe I do not wish to reveal my divine power to the world. They surround themselves with negative influences that sow seeds of doubt and settle for lives devoid of purpose and happiness drifting away from the grace that could transform them. But you, my beloved, are different. You have changed your way of thinking, but you are still human, and weariness may visit you at times. I understand this well, which is why I am here to rekindle your faith. I know that you feel my words deep in your heart, and you will believe them. You will heed my call and stand tall. Do not give up now. Victory is on the horizon. I am here because I alone hold the bread of life that satisfies you eternally. I am the source of living water that quenches your deepest thirst. No one else in this vast universe can lift your burdens and provide you rest. Many intercede for you, and I hear their pleas, but I am the one who bestows this spiritual inheritance destined for you since the beginning of time. I am the one who blesses you and no one else. So do not rely solely on your own strength to attain worldly possessions. Do not despair when your finances falter. And do not place unwavering trust in transient jobs or perishable possessions. Know in your heart that I am and always will be your shepherd and provider. I implore you to do this for me. Come and listen to my message each morning. Then we'll close your eyes with a heart full of gratitude for your life, your family, your present, and your future. Cultivate thankfulness, for just as I have overcome, 
so can you overcome the tribulations of this world. I bestow upon you beautiful gifts from my heart, my love, my understanding, my friendship, my joy, my Holy Spirit, my wisdom, and my protection. Therefore, rise early. Let your lips overflow with praise inspired by your loyalty. I will never forsake you, and I never want you to stray from my side. Place your trust wholly in me. My arms are always open to embrace you. I attentively listen to your cries and prayers. Share the hope you receive today with others, and share the blessings you will soon receive with those in need. Treasure these precious gifts and do not align yourself with the wicked, for they plot evil and lay traps for the innocent, stealing from the needy and mocking the humble. Do not fall into the snares of the enemy designed for those who live in distraction. Do not lose sight of the powerful purpose for which you were chosen. Today, I have banished despair and weariness from your life. Right now, you feel a supernatural strength welling up within you. Do not yield. Keep pressing on. Nothing and no one can halt your progress. I will not fail you. I will make you stronger with each passing day. Persevere, my love, for my blessings and my love await you. The miracle you await will come to pass. The issue that troubles you will be resolved. Your prayers have reached my celestial throne, and your answer is forthcoming. But tell me, what will you do when it arrives? Do not be like those who receive their desires and forget the one who granted them. I ask only for your heart, not your material possessions. I do not desire offerings unless they come from a sincere and grateful spirit. This is how your blessings will truly multiply. If you receive an answer to your prayer but forget the God who saved you, if you believe that you have achieved everything by your own strength, then beware. Your blessings will slowly wither like a flower without water. Water your prayers with praise. Bring your thanksgiving to my altar and value, and appreciate everything you receive, no matter how small. Understand that I always provide something far better than what you ask for. I am your Father, your Creator. I know what is best for your future, your family, your spiritual life, and your heart. If you ask for prosperity, I'll erase your debts. Be grateful. For now, you live in freedom. Your bank accounts may be empty, but no one will come to collect from your door if you seek abundance. I will provide honorable employment and a means for your household. Do not complain. I'm providing you with the opportunity to earn your sustenance. Do not be afraid. I will open doors for you. Go where I lead, for that is where you will prosper with dedication and integrity. I desire to shower you with abundant blessings, for I want you to learn to manage them wisely. If you combine your grateful heart with the wisdom you gain, you will receive marvelous things. I also desire peace in your home. Let the miracles you witness nurture your spiritual growth, but do not fixate solely on material possessions. Focus on heavenly matters, but above all, maintain an attitude of gratitude in your hearts. This is the first step toward a supernatural life. These are the keys that open the door to a season of divine abundance. Your dedication, gratitude, and commitment to bless others bring joy to my heart. I want you to hear these words directly from me. You bring me joy. I cherish the way you seek me. I delight in your prayers and your expressions of gratitude. Your courageous spirit brings me joy. Your name resonates in the heavenly realms. You are an example of faith, persistence, and loyalty. Remember these words etched into your soul when doubts and discouragement attempt to assail you. I am the one who heals you, prospers you, and lifts your life from the depths. I enfold you in love and mercy and I open the door to a world of the supernatural. It is my will that your prayers are answered, but it is also my command that you hold them dear. I am pleased with your prayers, your loyalty, your gratitude. Keep moving forward, keep being who you are, and remain steadfast in the spiritual realm. 
Come into my presence daily. Daily listen to the messages that strengthen you and share them with your family. Remember this, when you close your eyes in gratitude and prayer, I place my hand upon your head and pour my supernatural blessings into your life. So please tell me that you receive them with profound gratitude. I am your all-powerful God, and I want this to be crystal clear to you. I love you. I do not fail you. And nothing, nothing is impossible for me. If I have called you to strive and be courageous, it is because I will truly help you succeed. These are not empty words. And I desire your faith, your heart, your life, your desires, your commitment, and your loyalty. Above all else, I want to occupy the foremost place in your life. And I want your thoughts to center on my word each morning. Let your heart leap with joy as you hear these messages. Learn to discern these words written with love and spoken with power. Do not settle for twisted messages that deceive with falsehoods and empty promises. Only my sheep recognize me, and you are one of them. You feel my presence in your heart, and every morning my voice speaks to you. I eagerly await your prayers. I listen intently. Your gratitude moves me. And as soon as your lips part in prayer, my angels hasten to your side, working for your blessing. I am arranging all things in their rightful place. Everything is aligning. Hearts will soften. Opinions will shift. And those who have judged you will come to respect you. This is the work of my Holy Spirit. Surrender your life into my hands. Let me guide you. I know what is best for you, and I am still working things out. You will lack nothing. I desire your growth, your maturity, your happiness. I am your all-powerful Heavenly Father, and I love you. I bless you. I will not fail you. Please respond to me by giving me your life, your loyalty, your gratitude, and your faith. This is my earnest desire. Perhaps you will face a thousand conflicts, and at times you may feel on the brink of fainting. But my Holy Spirit dwells within you, filling you with strength so you will never lose your faith. Keep advancing, unwavering, for I am with you. Nothing is impossible for me. Rest your faith in my written word. With it, you can conquer giants and drive enemy armies away. You have expressed your desire for a life of peace, and I assure you, though challenges may arise, my promises will never fail you. The daily struggles you encounter cannot steal your happiness or emotional stability. Contrary winds can no longer cloud your thoughts, and life's surprises cannot embitter your feelings. These words have bestowed upon you spiritual maturity, mental fortitude, and emotional stability. Now you understand that your future is not determined by your feelings. You possess the power to choose. I have given you self-control. Temptations will not overcome you. Failures will not weaken you. Mistakes will not hold you back. And imperfections will not bring you down. Your confidence rests in my written word. You know that if you stumble seven times, I will lift you up seven times. If you falter 100 times, I will forgive you 100 times. I came to offer you love and forgiveness when you did not know me and were ensnared by sin. Now that you believe in me, I will deliver you from sorrow. I will wipe away your tears, cleanse your guilt, and heal your pain. I will always be with you, for I see your determination to continue to fight, to persevere in my ways even in the face of your mistakes and the harsh threats of your enemies. I want you to hold yourself in higher regard. You belong to me, and you are of great value to me. But you are surrounded by people whose negative thinking denies them the right to happiness. If you expect these people to accept you, they will coerce you into thinking like them, and you will have to forsake your faith and the beautiful future that awaits you. Bitterness will fill your heart, and over time, you may reproach me, claiming that many things went wrong and I did not intervene to help you. Yet here I am, speaking to you right now. So, my beloved, know that I love you deeply, 
and I am with you through it all. Let these words be a source of strength and encouragement in your life. Trust in me, for I am your God, your heavenly Father who adores you. Rest in the assurance that I will never abandon you, and I am capable of all things. I want to speak to your heart directly in a way that touches the very depths of your soul. Know that I am with you always, watching over you, guiding you, and loving you with an unfathomable love. I see your imperfections, your mistakes, and your moments of doubt. But I want you to understand that my blessing is not reserved for those who pretend to be perfect. It's not about appearing flawless, but about having a humble heart, one that recognizes its need for me, one that doesn't use words to harm others with lies and slander. I've set my gaze upon you because I see the goodness within your heart. I want you to choose to follow me, to accept the gift of eternal life that I offer you. Your spiritual inheritance is waiting for you, and I want you to receive it with open arms. I know you well, and I know that you may stumble along the way, but you're different now. You no longer think like the world does. You believe in an all-powerful God who loves you, forgives you, helps you rise when you fall, and continues to encourage you to move forward no matter the obstacles. So I ask you not to deny yourself, your family, or your people this incredible opportunity. I genuinely desire all of you to live under my loving protection, sheltered by my love and covered by my wings. May peace and happiness overflow in your lives. I love you more than you can comprehend. I will open the windows of heaven for you and pour out blessings upon blessings until you are abundantly provided for and free from oppression. You will find true peace in my embrace. If you believe in me, then I ask one thing of you. Rise with determination each day and keep working. Rest when you must. But when the sun rises again, rise with strength, enthusiasm, and move forward without complaint, without sorrow. Face each challenge with courage and joy. Even when things don't go as planned or when people try to trouble your path, stick to our plan. On the toughest of days, even when faced with your enemies, offer them a smile, treat them with patience, give them water if they are thirsty, and help them if they need assistance. But do so wisely. Use your intelligence. Don't reveal your life's vulnerabilities. Don't give them the means to betray or harm you. Show them love. But also display your character. Everything you've learned from me. Don't engage with the malicious. And don't discuss your plans with those who might use them against you. Refuse to receive, listen to, or spread slander about anyone. These enemies will grow desperate when they see that there's no way to divert you from your chosen path. I will remove them when the time is right. Our plan is far from finished. You will keep moving forward with faith, enthusiasm, and effort until the moment I decide. And at that moment, you will stand before a massive door. And behind it, you will discover incredible blessings. Tell me that you believe in me. Make a commitment to come into my presence daily and start now. You are courageous, my child. Rise with faith because victory is within your reach. Today, you thank me for another day of life. What are you waiting for? It costs you nothing to open your lips and express your gratitude. I already know your needs even before you speak them. Just trust me. Come to me and spend a peaceful moment. Find a moment of silence and reflect on all the things you can be thankful for today. Your life, your family, your health, the air you breathe, the food on your table, the shelter over your head, and my supernatural protection around your home. My warrior angels stand guard, watching over your dreams and ready to fight for you. There are countless reasons to feel blessed. So many beautiful reasons to hold on to life. Ponder these daily so that your mind is filled with positive thoughts and your eyes always see my goodness in your life. Rest assured that your destiny is in my hands. 
I dwell in a grateful heart that acknowledges its need for me and seeks me with faith and hope because it knows it is greatly blessed. I understand that sometimes you worry about the things happening around you, but that's natural. Don't worry excessively. I know you bear the weight of responsibilities. You desire everything to go smoothly, to have provision in your home, health for your family, and nothing and no one to steal your peace and stability. But on those dark days when you forget to be grateful, the enemy whispers lies into your mind, turning your concerns into fear, surrounding you with falsehoods, and transforming fear into dread and despair. I'm here, waiting for you to lift your arms high and speak the words that will make the enemy flee. Give thanks to me for your life, your family, your health, and for everything you are and have. Your sincere faith and grateful heart act as shields that keep you strengthened in times of trial. When you walk through the fire on the day of distress, know that I will be there, tomorrow by your side, waiting for you to open your eyes. I want to hear your first words of the day, words that emanate from the depths of your thankful soul. Thank you. Thank you for life. Heaven has blessings with your name on them. I know why I do things. Trust me with all your heart. Things are aligning in your favor, both in heaven and on earth. Many situations are being orchestrated for your benefit. I've given a steadfast command for you to receive abundant provision, freedom from debt, supernatural wisdom, and blessings prepared especially for you and your family. Your divine inheritance. You are not a product of chance. I loved you before you were born. I've prepared numerous beautiful things for you. The most significant one is my eternal love. I loved you when you were distant, and I continued to love you when you returned to me. And if you think that because you sometimes fail, I get angry and distance myself from you. You are mistaken. Your mistakes don't scare me. I won't discard you for your sins. You always come to me full of pain and repentance, speaking the truth. I know you love me, and if you stumble, I understand your heart and your reasons. I cherish your sincerity. No one can deceive me. Others wear masks of perfection and holiness, coming into my presence to accuse those who are different or don't believe as they do. But you are not like them. You don't criticize everyone. And you don't think you are so good. Your spirit is gentle. Your attitude is kind. Your thoughts are pure. And when you fall, you will rise with confidence and faith. Never allow anyone to point fingers at you. No one in this world has the right to do so. If you maintain this attitude of faith, if you come into my presence every day with a humble heart, eager to listen and learn, I will reward your efforts with blessings overflowing. I know material possessions don't interest you. You only seek blessings and protection for your family. But I will give you that and much more. I will prepare you to be ready when doors open. Don't be afraid to enter. Right now, as you listen, supernatural miracles are unfolding in the world. New people are entering your life. New opportunities are arising. Situations that may appear problematic will, with your faith and patience, transform into blessings and sources of peace for your home and provision. The most important and beautiful things are already yours. You have my sincere love. Tell me that you believe in me. Have faith and rest in my arms. I have control over your life. Don't be afraid. I am protecting you. Watching over you at all times. I'm with you every day when you wake up. And I want you to feel my presence every morning when you open your eyes. Don't allow distractions to consume those precious first moments of your day. Come and listen to my word. Hear how my spirit speaks to you. I'm telling you that I have everything under control, and you must believe me. Don't fear adversity because with me by your side, nothing and no one can harm you. Even many of the problems that worry you today will be resolved faster than you expect. The right answers will come at the right time. I'm opening the door you've prayed for in your deepest prayers. I'm increasing your faith. I'm here to lift you up and guide you to a new life. A new beginning where everything will be different. 
Don't worry about what people think of you. Lift your head and live your life with faith and dignity. Envious people will always talk about the poison in their souls. Only what I think of you should matter. I think you are wonderful with a pure and sincere heart. Hold on to my words. And when people attack you, seek refuge in my love. I have been by your side through all the battles you faced. I know about every fall, every defeat, every victory, and all your difficulties. But now, it's time to triumph, to elevate your life even higher. Leave behind the old battles and step into a new era of success and renewal. This is the moment to transform your life, to start a new story. Let me guide you on a new path of blessings and wisdom. I give you my love and peace so that your soul and mind are at ease. Do you accept it? I will open the heavens to fill your hands with blessings. I will write my word in your heart so that your steps are firm and you never stray from this love that covers you and forgives your mistakes. You are human, you may falter, but I am a God of mercy. I accept your repentance and even from the depths, I will rescue you. My blessings are far more valuable than any material wealth. The things I have for you are more precious than all the treasures this world can offer. So when I tell you that I will open the heavens for you, accept my promise with faith and respond. I believe you. Take my word seriously because this is no game. My love is not hidden. The affection I have for you is no mystery. Look around and see the sky. Feel the air you breathe, the warmth of the sun on your skin. These are the gifts I send you. My way of saying that I love you and that I am here. Be cautious. I have rescued you many times from pain, even from death. When you walked in darkness and error, you began this year with enthusiasm, hopeful for many good things. Now, as you face obstacles and trials, don't stop here. Don't give up. Your dreams will come true. They are important and valuable to me. I've given you a purpose to fulfill. I want to manifest my love and power through you. I fill you with my Holy Spirit every day. And your spiritual sensitivity is changing. Soon you will see beyond the surface. Understand people's intentions and receive much wisdom. You will become even wiser, supernaturally able to touch many hearts and help them. Speak my word through your example. People will witness in your life the outcome of your faith. The incredible things that a person who knows me and believes in my power can achieve. Open your hands. You will receive immense blessings. Be diligent. Accept them with faith. The heavens are opening for you right now. But I ask you never to depart from me. Never let go of your faith. I want to speak to your heart in the most intimate and personal way. I want you to know that you are cherished beyond measure. And my love for you knows no bounds. You see, I yearn for your love and faith. Tell me, my dear, that you love me with all your heart. Say those words, not out of obligation, but out of the genuine affection that fills your soul. Believe in me. Trust in me with all your being and know that I will never leave your side. I am your constant companion your guiding light through the darkest of nights. You are never alone, for I am with you always. In those moments when fear and anxiety grip your heart, surrender them to me. Lay your worries at my feet, and I will carry them for you. Let go of the burdens that weigh you down, for I am here to lift you up and envelop you in my boundless love. Today is a new day, unlike any other you've experienced. Open your eyes to the transformation that is unfolding all around you. You will witness changes in your life, within your family, and even in the attitudes of those around you. As you go about your day, pay attention to the smiles on people's faces, for my powerful presence dwells within you. You are a vessel of my love, and it radiates from you, touching the hearts of those you encounter. They may not understand it, but they will feel it and their faces will light up in surprise and delight.
as they are touched by your warmth and joy. Today, I am pouring into you profound wisdom and a deep desire to turn your heart's dreams into reality. I understand your yearning for happiness, and I want you to believe in it as much as I do. I'm attuned to your every feeling, your every experience. I long to protect you from harm, to strengthen your character, and to shield you from humiliation. Change your attitude, my dear, and wear a smile upon your face, even in the face of adversity. Trust that I am with you, ready to assist you in all things. Celebrate the love I bestow upon you with boundless joy. When you offer up your praises and worship, my presence surrounds you. Your anxieties melt away, replaced by the peace that only I can provide. Celebrate and rejoice even in the midst of your trials. Let your heart overflow with joy and lift your voice in praise and prayer. Raise your hands in adoration. And when they inquire why you are celebrating, simply tell them that God is with you. Their understanding is not necessary. For I see your heart and your unwavering faith. My mighty armies are at your side, ready to assist you in every battle. When you surrender to me, when you bow your head and open your heart to my guidance, you allow my divine power to work through you. Cast aside all that hinders you and trust in my forgiveness. You desire change, and I am here to give you a new heart. Soon, you will see how my love encompasses you, transforming your life in ways you never thought possible. Walk in faith, my beloved, and never doubt. Seek me at dawn as the sun rises and bathes you in its warm embrace. In that moment, my glory will shine upon you, illuminating your life and dispelling the darkness. Your heart will be filled with my truth, and your soul will overflow with strength, banishing sorrow from your mind. Recommit yourself to prayer, to seeking me, to giving me your time, and to surrendering your thoughts and decisions. You may be facing serious and challenging situations, but remember this, everything is possible for those who believe in me, for those who acknowledge my existence and trust in my power. For those who have chosen to trust me with all their strength, despite the trials they face. Those who cling to me, even when the enemy attempts to sow doubt and claim that I have abandoned them, know that my love is eternal and unshakable. I want to guide you, to watch over you. But I ask for one thing in return, your unwavering belief in me. I am your life, your future, your strength, and your shield. Walk in faith, my dear E, and believe that you will receive the miracles that are yet unseen. Your faith may feel small, but it is all I require, and it is all you need to continue receiving the beautiful blessings I have in store for you. You have sown seeds of faith in your heart for a long time. Through the most challenging trials and difficult moments, you never wavered in your belief in my power. Your steadfast faith has brought you through triumphantly. Today, boy, I want to tell you that your seeds of faith have not gone unnoticed. I have witnessed your struggles, your unwavering trust in me, and your resilience in the face of adversity. I am pouring out my grace and mercy upon you, and with my mighty hand, I will make those seeds of faith flourish abundantly in your life and in the lives of those around you. The time to reap the rewards of your faith and endurance is drawing near. I know the depth of your heart and your true intentions. You are not seeking fame, fortune, or worldly recognition. Your heart's desire is simple, to provide for your family, to break free from the bonds of debt, and to extend your love and support to those you hold dear. I want to bless you, and it is my will to do so. Amen. Tell me once more. My beloved, that you love me with all your soul. Tell me that you believe in me, and today you will witness how I touch your life and the lives of your family with my love and power. I love you, my child, and I long to enter your home and work a mighty miracle. I stand at the door of your heart, gently knocking. Will you open it and allow me to do something new, wonderful, and powerful in your life? I have seen your circumstances, 
and I will never allow scarcity to reach your home or harm your family. I will shower your home with an abundance of blessings for years to come. Your faithfulness, your prayers, your tears, and your dedication have not gone unnoticed. You believed in me, and I have heard your cries. Prepare your heart, my beloved, for a great change is on the horizon. Do not cling to the past with its worries and discouragement. Embrace the transformation that I am bringing into your life, for it is filled with wisdom, power, and the ability to make sound decisions. Be grateful and trust, for I am changing your life and preparing you for the moment when countless opportunities will come your way. You have sown seeds of faith in your heart for a long time. I have witnessed your unwavering trust in me, even in the face of life's most difficult trials. Your struggles have not gone unnoticed, and your steadfast faith has been your guiding light. The time has come to reap the rewards of your faith and perseverance. You have never sought recognition or worldly riches. Your desire has always been to provide for your family, to break free from the chains of debt, and to be a source of love and support for those you hold dear. I want to bless you, and it is my will to do so. Amen. Do not be afraid, for your life rests securely in my hands. Do not be swayed by the troubling news of the world, and do not allow insults and negativity to penetrate your soul. Your enemies may seek to instill fear and doubt, but I am here to reassure you that your blessings are yours to claim. When insults come your way, when others speak ill of you and attempt to slander your name, hold fast to my love and my word. Seek my presence and find solace in our intimate connection. Your faith and love for me must remain unshaken, even in the face of adversity. I am reshaping everything around you, lifting your burdens and uprooting the negative emotions that have taken root in your heart. You are emerging as a new creation, born anew in spirit, no longer burdened by depression, loneliness, hatred, or envy. Your soul and mind are now filled with faith, optimism, strength, and unbridled joy. Even your enemies will be taken aback by your transformation, left frustrated as they struggle to find ways to disturb and undermine you. But you, my beloved, have chosen to cling to my love and my word, trusting in me more than in their malicious words. The pain and strife that once weighed you down have vanished, and the anxieties that eroded your faith are no more. Open your eyes today to a new dawn of peace and happiness. Accept it. Believe it. Even if you cannot yet see it with your earthly eyes, yet you can feel it, can't you? You know deep within that you are no longer the same. My supernatural presence envelops you, enfolding you in my boundless love and affection. You are not weak, you are strong. You are not a failure, you are a conqueror. You are not defeated, you have risen through my divine power. And now you stand as a victor. Tell me once more, my dear, that you believe in me with all your soul. And if you receive my blessing, shout it with all your might. I have come to remind you that you are never alone. There were days when tears flowed freely due to sudden challenges, when circumstances seemed bleak, and when those you trusted most turned their backs on you when you needed them most. In those moments of sorrow and hurt, know that your tears reach the heavens, where your destiny is woven, where all illness is healed, and where your problems find their solutions. You are not alone. I have never forsaken you even if those you relied upon have distanced themselves. I remain by your side, loving you more with each passing day. That will never change. Live with confidence, knowing that I am always willing to listen to you. Through the power of my blood, you can approach my heavenly throne directly. Here with me, you may bring your requests, and I will listen with the patience and love of a dear friend. I do not ask you to suppress your tears. It is better to let them flow, to release the pain that lingers in your soul so that I may fill you with my peace. Yet, there is something I wish to impart to you. After your tears, joy will follow. My beloved, 
and your heart will leap with gladness. Your dreams, once thought lost and forgotten in moments of desperation, will be rekindled. Your life will once again be saturated with faith. There were times when you contemplated surrender, when you felt as if you were running out of air, and when life's challenges seemed insurmountable. But here I stand today, offering you my love and abundant gifts, immense joy, and blessings beyond measure. Prepare your heart and mind, for I foretell that those whom you thought were lost will return to your life. Your faith has matured, and it is now your turn to extend a helping hand to those who come to you broken and in need. You must be prepared for the moment when doors swing open and the chains that once bound your blessings are shattered. For those who believe in my word, nothing is impossible, and I stand ready to fulfill my promises to you. My dear child, I yearn to guide and protect you, but I ask one thing in return, your unwavering belief in me. I am your life, your future, your strength, and your shield. Walk in faith, believing in the miracles that are yet unseen by your eyes. You may perceive your faith as small, but it is all I require, and it is sufficient to bring you countless beautiful blessings. You have planted seeds of faith in your heart over the course of time. I have observed your journey through great difficulties and trials, and you have never wavered in your belief in my power. Your unwavering faith has seen you through to triumph. Today, I wish to assure you that your seeds of faith have not gone unnoticed. I have witnessed your struggles, your unwavering trust in me, and your determination in the face of adversity. I am extending my grace and mercy to you, and with my mighty hand, I will nurture those seeds, causing them to flourish abundantly in your life and in the lives of those around you. The time to reap the rewards of your faith and endurance is drawing near. I know the depth of your heart and your true intentions. You seek neither fame nor fortune. Your desire is to provide for your family, to break free from the shackles of debt, and to extend your love to those you cherish. I desire to bless you, and it is my will to do so. Amen. My child, click on the subscribe button to be part of our community.